Hello, everybody. Wow, 60 on here already. Cool. I wasn't sure I would go doing it on a different night than usual, but I didn't want to interrupt the Super Bowls. I know a lot of you guys will be wanting to watch that. Let me get my chat up here and stuff. Oh, come on. There we go. Mute my computer. There we are. Hey. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Everybody's on here already. Wow, a lot of you. Cool. Um, da, da, da. there we go. Yeah, when I whenever I say I'm gonna go live, as soon as I start doing it, it puts the the chat up. So it, sometimes there is some uh, some hold up there. Oh, uh, there we go. Cool. Yeah, you caught a live one, Metal Complex. Awesome. Yeah, I saw you just posted. So um, yeah, I, I just watched it actually. I watched your amalgam video and I I posted on it. I agree completely with you. That flipper tab is silly. Uh, welcome to Bruising Blades on a special night, because I didn't want to interrupt the Super Bowl. I know you guys, a lot of you guys are going to be doing that. I'm not going to watch it, because the goddamn Patsies are in it again. And I don't want to watch them win another Super Bowl, because that's probably what's going to happen, because it always does. Uh, I don't even know who's favorite or anything. I don't care. Thank you, Blue Collar Survival. How's it going? Um, yeah, it takes a second to get the the thing up and running. I am running really slow today, though. I don't know what's up with that. Um, yeah, it does seem to be running kind of slow. Hold on. Let me uh, tell my daughter to turn her PlayStation off. Because I bet that's what it is. I texted her because that's how we communicate in our house. <laughs> Yeah, they did lose last year, but I don't know. I just have a feeling it's gonna it's gonna be a thing. All right, how do I like the copper rock? Just got it. We'll get into that in just a moment. Um, first of all, the beer of the night. I already opened it. I already started started uh, out of you or started ahead of you guys tonight. Um, I'm drinking uh, it's Bach season Genesee Bach beer. I can't tilt it too much because it's already open. Awesome, awesome stuff. Local Rochester company. Don't like a lot of what Genesee makes. Jenny makes some pretty uh, crappy stuff, but um. Yeah, it uh, the Bach is pretty freaking great, and it's only out like this kind of late winter thing. And I have a multi-channel router. It's just uh, her place. Uh, she just got the PlayStation hooked up today, and that's what's doing it. McKenna, turn your PlayStation off. We'll see if she does or not. I can't get a hold of her. We'll keep we'll keep talking as I keep efforting to get her to. Uh... There we go. She turned it off now, so let's see. Let's see if that's any better now. Those PlayStations, man, they will screw you up. They you don't only have to turn them off; you have to like unplug them because they keep trying to download updates no matter what and no matter what your settings are on your router. They will find a way around it. They are evil, evil devices. I always deal with that with my. Um, with my uh, son, uh, yeah, she was. She isn't even playing it. She just has it turned off. So, yeah. But uh, yeah, wow, good to see you guys. Thirty-one people watching. Awesome. Uh, yeah, I already showed you the beer, the Genesee Bach. What do we want to talk about tonight? Well, first of all, I hit six thousand subs today, so that's cool. So, congrat or congratulations to all you guys. Guess congratulations to me. Thank you to all you guys. Very happy about that. Very happy. Um, uh, so hitting, getting about a thousand a month right now. I don't know if that'll keep up. I think eventually you're gonna, I'm going to hit a point of saturation. And it's going to slow way down, but we'll see. Pretty happy with it so far. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, uh, so I have a bunch of stuff out on the table that I want to talk about. Uh, Ian, thank you. Um, uh, the first thing I want to talk about is I've been doing something. If you guys follow me on Instagram, which I suggest you do at slicey dicey 75, um, I've been trying to like reintroduce some stuff into like stuff that I haven't carried in a long time because I've been busy reviewing things and stuff like that. And uh, so there's been a lot of knives that I just haven't haven't been carrying as much as I used to. And I've been trying to like reintroduce them in. I uh, brought out uh, what was I had my uh, Mass Drop Gent the other day. I hadn't carried that in a long time. Uh, today in my pocket, actually, got my. Uh, Spider Co. Gail Bradley too. Hadn't carried that in a long time. It's just been kind of neat. Just bringing out stuff. I've been intentionally pulling out stuff that I haven't carried in a long time. 
And I, I suggest everybody does that. It's kind of cool to realize, just go back and realize why you bought the stuff, you know, that you had. I don't remember what I had the day before that. I was, that was the day before that I started it. And tomorrow, I'm going to carry my ZT-0609. I haven't carried this in probably a month. And um, I know I did a comparison between this and where is it? I try to have everything accessible when I'm doing this. My uh, 0470. And I said um, uh, wh which one I was going to uh, keep and which one I was going to get rid of. And uh, I decided to keep them both. So, just decided to keep them both. Um, hold on, guys. I guess I'm just going to have to restart this thing because I don't know what's going on with my stupid internet. I, s I assume it's my daughter's PlayStation. Let me... Let me see if I can just go out and come back in and see if that will work. I don't know why it's so choppy. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. It's not going to get any better, I don't think, if I restart it. Um, everything's every yeah i just decided to sell some other stuff instead of selling the the 0609 i honestly i intended to and sell the 0609 i put it up on stuff before and then um yeah and i i had it like in the box to put up for the for sale and then i didn't and i keep taking it back and i just i can't get rid of it i just really like it i i do carry the the uh 0470 more but i don't know I just really like it. We're just going to deal with the choppiness when it uh, when we're done and it actually processes. It'll get rid of that. It always does. Uh, but, okay, maybe it's just a few people. If it's not choppy there, maybe it's clearing up. Uh, somebody asked about the uh, Giltech Ruck. Uh, this is, Mastrop just sent me this, and also these two knives we're going to talk about. I'm going to start doing more EDC review stuff. Uh, I'm trying to accumulate some stuff to do that. Uh, Mastrop sent me this. Uh, it's pretty cool. This is little Ferrum Forge Ruck. It is very, very tiny. I said Giltech once, didn't I? It's confusing because they both have the same name. There's the Giltech Ruck, which I've had for a long time. I've got two of them, actually. And then the Mastrop Ferrum Forge Ruck. Wish they hadn't named them, this, but it's just the acronym... Uh, something utility knife. Uh, this one's spring loaded. It's a bit different, and it uses the uh, the artsy blades instead of that. Um, and it's spring loaded. It's kind of you let go of it, and it closes. So you kind of kind of keep your thumb on it. It's kind of weird. Don't know what's up with that, but uh, it works well. But it is a different use, and it is really small. Um, I've been carrying it a fair bit. It is copper, which is awesome, uh, and it looks looks very very pretty. But I'm, I'm not 100% sure on this one yet. I've used it and it works fine, but it is kind of weird that you got to hold it open. Yeah, I wish you could just do like a like a little lock thing. Like, oh, I don't have it handy. But um, I know I know it's sitting on my uh, nightstand downstairs. Uh, like the uh, Boker Bolt Action Pens. That would be cool if you went and it would just stay open. That would be pretty neat. Thanks, Jack. I appreciate that. Yeah, 6,000 came pretty, pretty quick. Hopefully it keeps up at this pace. We will see. Um, and then also they sent me a couple of flashlights when we're doing these. This is the single A one. I can't remember the name of this one. Don't remember the name of either of them, honestly. I think they're just called single A and double A. This is the double A one, but it will also take a, uh, 1500 battery. And, oh, this one I think does have a name. I have the box right here, so let's get that out. Because it's kind of cool. It's got a different, uh, maybe it doesn't. Vega the Vega. It's got a separate end cap too, so if you don't want the button on it, you can, um, if you don't want to change modes and stuff, you can just replace it with this end cap, and then you don't have the modes, and you just you just turn it on and off, you know, like uh, Maglite style, and it makes it a little bit smaller. It's kind of neat, and you can use different batteries. It's pretty cool. Uh, I'm really liking this one. This is actually what I had in my pocket today. I was down in the basement doing some stuff, and it's never quite bright enough down there, and it works, works really, really cool. Very much liking it. Dinner's here. You'll be right back. Hurry up! Um, but yeah, they all have multiple modes and all that stuff. This is very similar in size to uh, the one that I used to carry the most. Actually, it's a little bit smaller even. Uh, the Streamlight MicroStream has been kind of my go-to EDC light. This is a little bit smaller, which is nice, and it comes in more colors and all that kind of stuff. Uh, not too far off in price either. I don't think these are too terribly expensive, but... Nice little button lock, or button activation on the butt. I, I like the butt buttons, and that's 
somebody's going to turn that into a meme. But uh, I like the the buttons on the butt. I don't I don't like them up here. I think it's much handier. I have an O light that has it up here, and, and I actually carry the stream light more because I'm just more used to them being there on the end of the light. Uh, what else did I get in this week? Oh, this is something I just got yesterday, which I'm very excited about. This is the Ray Laconico from uh, designed from the Monterey Bay Knives. This is the Easy C. If you guys watched my review of the Min Pin, um, didn't care for it. That's the first Monterey Bay Knives uh, knife I got, the first MBK, and uh, didn't care for it. Uh, this one, very much care for. This is uh, this is pretty cool. It's a really really nice knife. Uh, definitely more what I was expecting. Super comfortable. Definitely a different manufacturer. Um, I don't know if they want anyone to know who it is, but if you look at the packaging, it's really obvious who makes it. It's not we, uh, but because we makes everybody's everything, it's really obvious when you look at the packaging. And when I do the review, you will see. Um, it's, it's really, really, really obvious who makes it. They didn't try to hide it at all, but I don't think they say on their site. Um, it, it rhymes with the maker of a blue pill. That's all I'll say. Uh, it's definitely their packaging. But a uh, great knife. I'm really impressed with this. And it's 180 bucks. This is not mine. This is for the pass around, from the pass around group, from the Apex pass around group. Um, there, there will be one that uh, will be mine though because this is one i'm definitely when i have the funds i'm going to purchase i like it that much uh, this is definitely within two or three flips and carrying it for half a day i yeah i gotta have one of these this thing is pretty awesome uh still liking the i brought this out because i wanted to show you guys uh since i did the review i've been carrying this a whole lot the large pilar and the d2 and i know we give CRKT a bunch of crap for their their uh, bushings uh, their the yep the uh, Teflon bushings they come with and uh, so do I but this one is got oh it's so smooth now it's so smooth it's a little off center but I I let it I allowed it to be just slightly off center and man it works good now it's super smooth and works great I know I'm I know I'm lucky. Oh, cap. That's what I was trying to say instead of butt. Yeah, best tech fan, but yes, I did I did take it apart and lube it up, but it it didn't really it was actually pretty clean inside. I probably just could have dribbled some lube in there and it'd been fine, but um yeah. It does have weird weird sized Teflon bushings though. And I was talking to uh JT and like they're they're not even the same size as the other ones and it's really weird, but uh it works great. Uh, it's gotten smoothed out and it, I really like it detents great i didn't adjust that at all it's factory all that stuff but uh it's gotten it mine is super smooth but i do realize i am the exception to the rule i know that is not the case with most of them. i know they've definitely had some issues i'm not trying to gloss over them maybe i'm just trying to trying to brag that uh trying to brag that i uh i got a good one maybe that's all i was doing uh, another thing from the pass around group uh, the reticulin. I didn't. I didn't think I asked to be on the pass around for this one, uh, but I got it, and uh, it's pretty neat. It comes with a little neck knife thing too that I would never, ever, ever use. I uh, don't like heavy stuff hanging around my neck. Elijah Isham design, best tech. Pretty cool. Pretty pricey for what it is. It's a tiny little thing, as you can see. I mean, we'll put it against uh, what's something that's a good, good reference point. Oh, I do have my boker here. This is against my Boker pen. I thought that was on my nightstand downstairs. It's sitting right here. Yeah, you can see it's a it's a tiny little sucker. Because this is really tiny. It's like against my finger. It's a little bitty 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 thing. But uh kind of neat. Um I know there's one side brass bushings and the other side is Teflon. Yeah, that is annoying when companies do that. I've had a couple that have worked, but most of them do not. You can never get them quite centered quite perfectly. Another knife that's sneaking back in the rotation more again is my uh, TRM Neutron. I, I've never stopped loving it. It's just I've been reviewing so much stuff that I just don't don't get a chance to uh, to carry it very much. It sucks. It's a... Uh, it's kind of like the same thing with I review bicycles for a living. I never ride my own bikes. They just, actually, I don't own many bikes now because I sell all of them because they just 
hang in the garage and never get ridden because I'd always have to ride somebody else's something. Uh, you want to see the entire collection. I'm not going to do that anymore because I sell stuff so quick that um, it's kind of pointless. I, I, I do it just because uh, nothing is sacred because I got to feed the beast, as I say, and keep getting stuff in for uh, you guys to see and you guys uh, so that I can review. So um, it's actually not that large. I think I only have maybe, maybe at the most 40 now at the absolute most 40 and a lot of them are honestly probably a third of it is budget stuff that's just too cheap to sell so the budget stuff gets kept longer than the expensive stuff honestly so 40 is a lot less than i had before zach i used to have uh oh probably 70 or 80 and then it was worth doing collection video videos but uh now it's just not not that impressive i don't I don't have anything over the most expensive knife I own right now would be you now probably my uh and it's the thing I carry the most lately is my 0562 tie. That's probably the most expensive thing I got. Yeah, because this is what 280? Something like that. I think that's the most expensive thing that I've got. I, I don't have anything too amazing anymore. I don't I don't buy special editions. I have a few uh dealer exclusives. Um I've got my uh my para two and para three knife center exclusives got those um the crew wear ones because I, I think that's just the best value pm2 and para three that you can get the para three was a gift which uh from one of my viewers which is very nice so this will be here forever and this probably will because it's i this is my favorite para two or yeah uh, pm2 i've ever had so that'll probably stick around but yeah I, I don't other than that i don't have anything too super crazy I really don't. I've got some stuff. I guess my boost smoke it was kind of, that was kind of hard to get a hold of. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that was kind of hard to get a hold of. This is probably the neatest thing that I have. But um, as far as knife nerd stuff. But other than that, yeah, I don't. I just don't. Uh, I don't. When I have something now, if it hasn't been carried in a in a month or so, it goes away. Unless it's something I have like an emotional attachment to or something like that. Uh, Jack Farmboy, you're trying to weed it down to 15. Yeah, good luck with that. You're a YouTuber. You're not going to get down to 15, mate. It's just not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Although I think uh, Shabazz only has like a dozen or something like that. He's got a... He's pathetic. He's pathetic. You know, he's not. We all wish we were Nick Shabazz in one way or another. You know, he's actually... We've become friends, and I actually really... I really like talking to him and... Uh, insulting each other and making bad puns on Instagram instant messages and stuff. He's a really cool dude. I really like really like him a lot. More and more every day. Uh, trying to get this one back into the rotation again. My uh, Sage 5. Haven't been carrying that much lately. Yeah, I'm just, uh, this week, I'm just gonna, the whole week long on my Instagram feed, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pull out stuff that I haven't carried in a long time. And I intentionally just opened up all my knife cases and just went through and was like, well, which, what, I, oh, I haven't carried that in a long time. Let me pull that one out. Please, both of you need to stop with the puns. I don't do the puns on the channel very much. I think I've only done one or two. Um, but, uh, yeah, he does them a lot. Uh, you're trying to get up to 30, Kiefer. I can't believe you have less than 30. You seem to have a whole lot. Although your Instagram, you just only show that uh, M390. Um, dividend. That's all you ever show. <laughs> I want the 0562 in anything. I've tried and tried to sell a Benchmade Aileron for 160 to put towards it. Yeah, the, I have an Aileron coming in the pass around. Um, um, the, uh, it, I saw it and I, I really like the look of it appealed to me until I realized that that stuff on the blade is stuck on there and I'm just kind of like, eh, I don't know about that. Um, Knife YouTubers want to play Robin to Shabazz's Batman. You know what? I would, uh, I might take that position, except for that I'm larger and older than him. So I don't think that would really work. But uh, if, if he, maybe his Alfred, I'd be his Alfred. I think I could do that. Yeah. If you guys want to email Shabazz and I, I could be his Alfred, that would be all right. I figure being Shabazz's Alfred's worth at least 5,000 subs, right? It's got to be. He's got like almost 79. Wow, 58 watching. Maybe I should always do these on Saturday nights. 
I honestly don't usually do them on Saturday nights because I'm usually working on Saturday nights. I usually have gigs, but uh, don't this weekend. Uh, I'm going to go to the club when this is done and maybe catch a guest spot, but I don't have any gigs. Uh, still carrying the ProTech a fair bit. The the uh, late the production sample, Ferrum Forge ProTech, still really liking it. You know, here's a subject I want to talk to you guys about, and I want you guys to comment in here um, about this because, uh, and and I also want you to go watch a video. Uh, Kevin Cleary, who I, I like his channel a lot too, uh, he posted something about. Um, it's in his last EDC update, but he also talked about when you get a knife for free. Uh, I, I did. I did not pay for this. I got it for free. It was a production sample. It was used when I got it. I got a used knife, the used Mordax for free to review. I said that in the video. And we talked about how, or he talked about how that may influence you or not influence you. And I have to say, I completely agree with what he said. What he said, and I've... Keep in mind, I've been reviewing products for 20 years. I've not been on YouTube for very long, but I've been re reviewing bicycles, uh, cell phones, uh, I reviewed a car or two, all kinds of stuff. Um, it, it doesn't, I, 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 he, what he said was, if you bought it, because people always say, oh, you got it for free, you're just going to say it's great. I don't think that's true. And that's not how I do it. Uh, if I get something for free, I, I think I'm harder on it. If I bought something and he's right when he says this subconsciously, you know, you spent your money on it. You're not going to say bad things because you're insulting something that you bought, that it's more likely you're going to be nice to it because you bought it because nobody wants to admit they made a mistake than if they got it for free. And you know what? If, if I get something for free and I trash, I always talk to the company first and get a feel for them. And if I get a feel for them that they're sending me something that they really are demanding I do a positive review on, I just say no. Uh, mass drop. Before I got this, I spoke to him on the phone for like half an hour, getting to know the guys. So I got to know the two guys I was talking to. They didn't seem to expect anything out of me. So I said, yeah, sure. Go ahead and send it. And I know it didn't influence me at all. And if I'd have given it a bad review and they'd have been unhappy, I just never would have reviewed anything of theirs ever again. It's not a, I, especially in the knife community, I got other people's stuff to get your hands on. You know, it's just, I, I don't, I don't, to get my hands on. I don't need that. I don't need the content. I am so backed up on reviews right now. Right now, I don't need the content. I don't need your free stuff. I just don't. I think that, yeah, it, I don't think to me, I mean, I've been doing this for 20 years, so I'm a bit, I think my bias is gone. I don't think I have one. I have a bias towards the stuff that I like, but, and if I get something for free, you guys are going to know it right off the top of the video. If I say provided by the manufacturer, that means for free. If, it, if I didn't get it, if I have to send it back, I'll say loaned to me by the manufacturer. That's it. And then you take to it, take with it what you will from that. And that's just how I'm going to do it. That's just it. And I know I've been doing this a really long time. So yeah, just disclosure. Just let people know that you got it for free or you didn't or whatever. Now, one thing I would never will do ever, 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 ever is I get three or four emails a day from companies offering me, we'll pay you $200 to review our product. No, no, I don't want to do that. And usually it's not not that it's nothing at all related to this. I got one there for caffeinated breath mints. Would you like to review our caffeinated breath mints on your YouTube channel? Um, I, no, thank you. I'll pass on that. And then they said, we'll pay you $50. And I just was like, no, I'm not doing it. <laughs> so yeah, you're going to give me your Shuro. Oh, well, if you gave me that, yeah, Mike, you're not a manufacturer, so it's fine. But unless you guys really want to review some caffeinated breath mints, I could, I, I, I could make 50 bucks. So yeah, um, go Rams from a Seahawks fan. Thanks, Zach stuff. I appreciate that. Oh yeah. The, the, uh, super chat is open. If anybody wants to kick in a few shekels, I always do appreciate that. Um, I'm going to try and pay more attention to the chat here for more. This one's really disorganized tonight. Cause like I said, I didn't realize till this morning it was the super bowl tomorrow because I really don't care about it. So, um, Thank you, Ryan. No, I'm not. I've been doing this long enough that I've had enough manufacturers mad at me over the last 20 years that I don't really 
I don't really care. Um, it's uh, I, I have a pretty thick skin now, so if if uh, somebody's gonna get mad, it's cool. It's hard harder with me in the bike industry because I know most of the guys. Where the in the knife world, it's so big. Let's move on to somebody else. There's so many manufacturers now that it's I don't really care. Um, yeah, I wonder what the ratings are gonna be for the Super Bowl this year. I don't think it's gonna be very good. Uh, commercials for the win. I will watch them on YouTube the next day. I'm not gonna. Um, I'm not gonna bother watching it. Can't see. Can't stand to see Tom Brady's stupid face anymore. It's driving me nuts. Yeah, caffeinated breath mint. So your breath will smell awesome as you're shitting yourself. Might watch it for the Marvel commercials. Yeah, that. I, I do want to see the new trailers, but I think the trailers will probably come up on YouTube like during the game. They usually do. Um, amazing breath while sitting in the toilet. I should I should I should be an ass and tell you guys the name of the company, but I think I deleted the emails. Uh, thoughts on the glow and dark material coming out for Benjamin and ZT? I'm gonna I sold my O three nine three because I want to get the glow in the dark. ZT0393, um, not because I care about the glow in the dark, but when it's not glowing, it looks like normal carbon, and I think that's that I really like the look of it. And it's got 20 CV instead of the S35 that my uh, Stonewash one did, so yeah, that's why I sold. I'll definitely be getting the 0393 and the glow in the dark. I didn't see Benchmade was doing one. I missed that. Um, tell us the name. Uh, I gotta. That would require me to search. How am I gonna? How am I gonna do it? Breath. Oh, my computer's not gonna allow me to do it. I can't do it while I'm on the uh, live stream, guys. This is me too much of a pain in the ass. And now my I'm getting spinny spinnies on my email. That's annoying. Hmm. Anywho. Um. I'm going to pay attention to this instead of talking about caffeinated breath mints, even though it's very, very funny. I assume if you Google them, they're the only ones. Oh, the gold class bug out glows. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's 750 bucks. That is not even in my realm of thought. I love the bug out. I'm one of the biggest fans of the bug out in the world, but I'm not. No way I'm ever going to possibly buy that. Um, yeah, I think the Nuck had some glowy stuff on it. If you had to give one knife to your father or a real close uncle and they're non-knife people, what knife would you choose? Thinking of that knife, I would say, uh, I pay it. Um, you know, you're always safe with a Swiss Army knife, but if you want to give them, or an open L, but if you want to give them something real, um, huh, what would I give them? Probably, uh, Probably like, uh, yeah, it'd be something easy to operate. Probably like a USA made Kershaw of some kind, I think. I think that's probably what I would do. Um, and they'll, I don't know how, you know, older older guys too, you gotta, you know, they're gonna want uh, USA made. They'll think that's cool, so. Spicy dicey my beard. I do not know what that means. Um. Yeah, I can't find the breath mint people. I deleted the emails. There, it's not there. I tried. I tried. <clears throat> um. Oh, thanks for piercer. You love it. Yeah. It is. It is a very very cool knife. Um. I don't think I would buy a, an uncle or somebody a non knife person a uh, bench made. It just takes a minute with that lock. Uh, I saw your email, Troy. It went out this morning, by the way, if you're still on here. Um, I was When I was looking for Breathman emails, I saw that. So, um, Yep, that's it. I'm not going to say the name. But, yeah, that's uh, that's it. Yep. Um, yeah, we had, it was so cold here. Our, my post office was closed for three and a half or for two and a half days. Can you believe that? I got stuff in the mail, but... Like, it came into my house, but it was closed for two and a half days. Can't believe it. It was, that was crazy. It was, uh, ambient was about 10 below, and it was down to, um, uh, 
25, 30 below wind chill. It was crazy. Winter storms in the 70s were worth... I, I agree. I was born in 75, and um, I remember it being below zero for... It was in... Wait, even later than that, in 1994, it was uh, below zero for an entire month. I know because I almost froze to death. My car broke down. It was minus 25, and uh, I had to walk a quarter mile to a house, and I was poorly prepared, and I nearly froze to death. Almost lost two toes. It was a big deal, and now I'm super paranoid about it. So my car is full of all kinds of winter stuff, space blankets, extra coats, all kinds of stuff, because I nearly died. Can't wait for the Mordex and the Para 3 Lightweight. Yeah, I'm really excited about the Para 3 Lightweight. I'm really looking forward to that. Did anybody else pre-order that? Actually, for you guys, I'm not going to wait for my wholesaler to get it. I actually pre-ordered it at retail because I really want to get it and get it reviewed quick. What Arctic state do I live in? Upstate New York. You getting the Super Freak and M4? I don't know. Um, I don't know. I, I do really want it. I don't like coated blades. If it did not have a coated blade, I'd probably absolutely get one. The coated blade is making me think a bit. So, um, yeah. Oh, we all live in Arctic states at the moment. <laughs> Keen versus Kapara. You could have only one knife. Oh, probably the Kapara. Um, just because uh, I don't think I'd want a titanium frame lock for my only knife. I don't think I'd want a metal handle knife for my only knife. Um, you have nearly 200 now? <laughs> you got a Kershaw leak and your fiance claimed it. You know, uh, I actually just watched a video today, Smoky Mountain Knife Works put a thing out and they let some very attractive woman uh, go through the whole store and choose a knife and she chose a Kershaw leak and uh, the guy, the host on it, I don't don't recall his name, I apologize, but uh, he said women always choose the Kershaw leak. Isn't that weird? Women leak, I guess. Um, you want your smock, God damn it. Yeah, so do I. Uh, I canceled my pre-order because I got sick of waiting. So um, I'll get it, but I'm annoyed now, so I'll wait until I can get it at wholesale. I'm not going to buy one at retail. Um, yeah, I think, I think that's what, I think that's why he was, I think that's what the meaning of that SMKW video was. Um, 73 in Naples, Florida. Sorry, boys. You know, it may be 73 in Naples, Florida, but the downside is it's Florida. So there's that. Sorry. Every, that's what I always say. Anytime somebody tries to take a shot with, from Florida, talking about how warm it is, I point out the fact that I hate that state. I used to live there. I'm sorry. Maybe it's just where I lived. Didn't care for it. Let's rotate some stuff around. I haven't even had my hands. Look at me. I'm trying to do this like a frame lock, like a moron. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I think uh, Nick Shabazz has uh, trademarked jackass. I'm going to trademark moron. What's an old time? What's another old timey word for idiot? What can I, what can I call myself? I like old timey insults. Uh, I lived on the Panhandle. I lived uh, near Pensacola. I do like one place in Florida. I like the Withlacoochee area, the Withlacoochee River area. I like going down and seeing Dunderhead. That's a good one. Uh, I like seeing the, um, uh, uh, yeah, the manatees and stuff. That's always fun. I do like that. Um, Galoot. Uh, yeah, that's. I think Galoot indicates like a, a a big guy though, right? Don't you think? Oh, buffoon! That's a good one. I like that. Imbecile, philistine, dimwit, dolt. Oh, dolt's a good one. Oh, dolt's a good one. I really do like. I use that word a lot. Thank you, Herm. Thanks for the little kick in. Yes, the super chat is open. We want to do that. Um, yeah, big Galoot. I I'm not a big guy, so I don't I don't think that. Um, dullard. Uh. Nincompoop. Yeah, that's a that's an excellent one too. I I I still use that word all the time. My kids make fun of me because I say words like betwixt and they like just like a like you should, like it's a normal word. Numbskull is a good one. Lightweight pair of three versus native five, lightweight versus chaparral, F versus bug out. Well I have to buy two knives for that, but uh 
there will definitely be a pair of three versus bug out one for sure. But I don't have a chaparral or a native five lightweight anymore. Um, Dolt is a kind of pretend. Yeah, it has a fun pretentiousness to it, and I am I am a fun and pretentious person, so that does make sense. I think Dolt is what we're gonna go with. Uh, I got this too. This is coming up. This little Bastion Braza Mini. They sent these out to a bunch of us in the pass around group, which is very nice of them. They're pretty neat. Pretty neat little knives. I have a, I already recorded the review. I compared it to. I don't know if it's still around here or not. Uh, there it is. I did a little, instead of just doing a straight up review, I compared it to the Kershaw Ember. Because they're kind of similarly cute little tiny knives. Look, two little hinderers. You have the little, the little, the big one and the little one. Yeah. So that'll be coming up too. This is kind of a neat little knife. I actually really do like this. For being so tiny, it's actually pretty useful. Yes, and it's Brian spec. It came that way. I think that's the only way you can get it. I don't think it comes in colors. But yeah, pretty neat. I'm The pocket clip is only on it because I just reviewed it. It will definitely, that'll just come off. It, this is kind of silly to have a pocket clip. I think it's, it's, I think the pocket clip on this is just kind of a novelty. <laughs> that's definitely going to come off because it just drops in the bottom of your pocket. And it's really nice for that or in that little fifth pocket, you know. Yeah. Okay, we don't need to keep crapping on Florida. It is a beautiful place. I just I just didn't care for it. Um, when I retire, I'm going to Spain, I think, instead of Florida, like everybody else does. Spain is Europe's Florida. Um, yeah, wow, these both have very dirty blades on them. I guess they both get used a bit, huh? To everyone who says Brian never uses his knives, look at that. I have two dirty knives. There's still schmutz on that. Don't know what it's from. That's not, I don't even know what that is. That's not a packing material stuff. I don't know what that is. And, uh, oh, and also, yeah, look, I'm starting to finally get some patina on this thing. Look at that. Finally on my copper natrix. Starting to get some patina. Very happy with that. Did develop a bit of a thing, though. What was it? Oh, that's closed. It's got a little detent rock now, though. That's not, that's not great. Not enough I'm going to send it back yet, but we'll see how that goes. Brian Speck should include left pocket clip carry. Why? I'm the most right-handed human being the world has ever known. I can't do anything with my left hand. Yes, including that. Uh, what do I think of the little ZT? Interesting. Um, I do like little knives like that. Not that little. That's very little. Zero patina. Are you kidding me? There is. It's definitely changed. Go look at this and then go back and watch the video. It's finally changed a little bit. My hands don't sweat. Give me a break. Um, I almost bought a Viper Storm the other day and then realized... I didn't realize that was a hinderer design. That you don't like hinderers. I didn't didn't know that was. Um, you think Benchmay will make a mini bug out anytime soon? I don't think so. I, I don't remember where I heard, but someone ad directly asked them and they said no. That that was not, not in the plans. And I don't... I don't know how much more mini you can make it. It's already like a little smaller than a full size grip. So if you made it mini, that'd be really mini, and it'd be like a like a two point seven five or something. And because it wouldn't make any sense to make it just like a three inch. And I don't know. Launch ten looks so cute and tiny. Yeah, I I really wish if if I was allowed to own automatics or I'm allowed to own them, but if I was allowed to carry automatics, I'd have a bunch of those. A bunch of those. Uh, um launches because they're inexpensive and they're they're cool um true to your point yeah it's just that if the if it was a full like uh, I, I wish that instead of making the bug out the size they did they made it a full three and a half inch knife and then did a mini bug out then three inch that would be awesome but unfortunately they didn't uh m4 bug out would be great wouldn't wouldn't count that out i also really still think by the end of the year we're gonna i still think we're gonna see a 20 cv g10 bug out i just i really really do i have no inside information i just really think they're gonna do that gray g10 20 cv treatment to the bug out because it's their one of the number one selling models right now if not the number one selling model they make so i really think they'll do that Isn't the, uh, isn't that fancy ass uh, custom one, the gold series? 
Isn't that titanium? I think it is. I don't remember. I didn't look at it too close. I saw the price and was like, nope, and moved on. Uh, bug out and LC 200 insult type treatment. Who do you have to blow? I don't, I don't think that lock system, I don't think that the access lock is really good for a salt type knife for a completely water corrosion, whatever knife. I don't think it's great for that. I don't, I don't think those Omega Springs would hold up to that. As much as I'm a defender of Omega Springs quite often, um, I don't think they'd hold up to that. Uh, but, uh, Maxima bug out. Has, has Benchmade ever made anything in Maxima? I'm just asking generally because I honestly don't know. I have no idea. I would like to see it if they had. I've never seen one. Um... G10 defeats the purpose of bug outs, might be lightweight. Yeah, but it's still not going to have liners, so it wouldn't be that much heavier. You're looking at, like, what, a G10 on a bug out would gain a quarter of an ounce at the absolute most? I don't think it would defeat the purpose of it at all. It's not, plastic isn't that much lighter than G10. G10 is still a sort of, kind of, almost plastic. Um... Yeah, has, has only Spider Co. made folders in Maxima? I can't think of any other ones. I'm sure there are. Um, you should work a little on South, uh, South Beach at the Topless Beach. I had a gig on South Beach at the Topless Beach. I had to do a stand-up set during the daytime when I could see boobs from the stage. That was, uh, that was interesting. I kept my top on, by the way, before you ask. Sorry, I'm a filthy, <coughs> filthy vapor. This is going a little while. I need my nicotine. Um, I weighed several bug outs with... Uh, oh, yeah, you you have a lot of them with those extra um, <laughs> South Beach carry tip up. <laughs> oh, that's outstanding. Uh, if it's still on... If it's still <laughs> oh, that got me. How many jokes did you tell where the punchline was boobs? I I didn't tell any jokes where the punchline were boobs, but I may have I may have come up in the middle of uh, middle of a set. May it may have just been an extra word in a sentence that I didn't mean to say. The 0888 max is max for that. Um, uh, <laughs> shouldn't that be nip up? Oh, this is this is gonna get me in trouble with uh, with YouTube. I, that's all right. I don't monetize these live videos. I don't put ads in them, so they don't look at them. Um, you really don't know if it make it. Do you have any? Uh, yeah. Does anybody have uh, aftermarket G10 scales and tell me what it actually one of them weighs with the aftermarket ones? Knowing that uh, the aftermarket ones are always gonna weigh more. Like the companies always manage because they're manufacturers. They know what they're doing. They're gonna make it a bit lighter. Um, I've never had the Omega Springs, but just one person. I mean, you, did you break one person, or are you saying you knew one person that had Omega Springs break? I've never had them break either. Um, I do, but I also do know one guy that had them break, so maybe that, that's what you're referring to. Um, yeah, I've had lots. I've had, oh, I'm down to only, oh my god, I only have two Benchmades right now, but I'm getting another one. Um, but I've, I've only got two right now, but, uh, I sold my Saibu because I just didn't carry it very much. Um, but, uh, yeah, I've had I've had probably 10. I've never had them break. And I've also uh, always had good blade centering, so I'm I'm blessed, I guess. Hashtag blessed. Uh, had one S9, uh, had my uh, one that had a bit of a wonky grind, and that was it. That, that's the worst problem I've had with uh, Benchmade. Um, you're an FRN snob. I was, and I still kind of am. I don't... Oh, I do have one. It's in my pocket. I only have one FRN Spider Co. right now. That's actually an interesting one to pull out. I got one of the uh, dragonflies with the Vitoku. You guys kept telling me to get a dragonfly, and I said I was going to wait till I could get my hands on a special one, and I did. And I really, really like it, and I am probably never, ever going to sell it. If you're going to have one dragonfly, have a cool one, and it's gray. And I like the Vitoku. Cool knife. Really liking it. And I need to do a video about it. Not just about the specific one, because you can't get them anymore. They they came and went uber quick. Uh, but just about the dragonfly in general. And I also did have a dragonfly salt for a day. 
because uh, the guy I got it from sent me the wrong one and I got the salt and then I almost thought about keeping them both and I thought no that'd be dumb and I sent the salt back when I got this so yeah um, you have the Putman G10 on your what is it what does it weigh Zach if you have it around in scales what does it weigh with those scales on it I'm curious oh it was still under two ounces of the G10 then yeah then cool Thanks, Kiefer. Appreciate it. Thanks for kicking in a little bit. So, yeah, there is uh, the Super Chat little money button is open down there. If anyone's kicking a few shekels, always appreciate that. Uh, we're going to keep going for about 15 minutes here. I'm sorry this one is so rambly tonight. Like I said, I was not, not planning on doing it until this morning when I realized the Super Bowl was tomorrow. Because I was uh, going to go see my mom tomorrow night, and she said, she lives in an assisted living place, and she said, we're having our Super Bowl party. And I was like, oh, shit, I forgot about that. Um, give me knife or give me death. Uh, have you guys ever watched the uh, Cake or Death uh, Eddie Izzard stuff? You have to go. You have to go watch that. Search for uh, Cake or Death Lego on YouTube. It's the funniest thing. It's so good. Uh, some little kid took a bunch of Eddie Izzard's comedy sketches and animated them with Legos, and it's the best thing. He also has the Death Star Canteen one, which is even better. Uh, Dragonfly and Little Native. I don't have my Little Native anymore. Um, I'm going to get the Little Native when it comes on the slip joint for sure, but uh, um, that little tiny compression lock, I just didn't feel like I needed it anymore. It was fun to experience, and I'm glad I had it. It was pretty cool, but uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, I, I like the feel of the G10 better than the FRN for sure. Uh, I wouldn't mind one of the dragonflies and like, didn't they make this in a wood? Um, I, I wouldn't mind having one of the wooden ones. I think they made like a wooden handle one and they, I know they made a G10. I don't know. But they all have the VG10 blades, which I don't like. Yeah, wood, the P.E.K.K.A. wood. I wonder if I could get the P.E.K.K.A. wood and swap it out. But I bet somebody makes, somebody makes custom dragonfly scales, right? For sure. I'm sure about that. Pack of wood, pack of wood. I'm sure somebody makes custom dragonfly scales. I've never bothered to look. I do like the color of that, but yeah, just something classy like that. If I had just something classy, like something like I'd carry this thing all the freaking time if, if it didn't. Because this just looks sporty. You know, it's. I always think that these textured FRN scales are the equivalent of walking around in those those sandals that have the the five toes. You know, like you're just screaming to the planet, like, I'm outdoorsy! Look at me! I am outdoorsy! Is the pack I would want at Knife Center? How much is it? I'm just going to make you guys do research for me now. Now you're in my research pool. Oh, it's half 40. Cool. Maybe maybe I'll take a look at it. Um, Yeah, because I do really love the ergos of it. It's really freaking good. It's It's much better than I expected. I was really all the monies. FRN is the Crocs of the knife world. <laughs> I don't. I don't know if I go. Yeah, maybe. No, I don't know if I go that far. But uh, it's just. Uh, yeah, it just. It just. It just seems to me like it just. You're just trying to. I don't know. If, if it just looks really outdoorsy, which isn't bad. But um, walking on South Beach, I pack a wood. I love toe sandals and jean shorts. I'm sorry, Gilbert, that I insulted you, but uh, it. You, you kind of had it coming. Um, Putman has the G10 version for the FRN uh, Dragonfly. Um, yeah, Crocs are gross and stupid. You know, Crocs, this is how dangerous Crocs are. My my wife works with children, and she's worked at three or four different, over the years, versions of child care or education facilities. All of them, every single one of them, Ban the children from wearing Crocs because they're dangerous. That's how bad Crocs are, that schools ban them. Schools ban them, that's how bad they are. Um, Tell me Steel, is, do you have any experience with Rex 45? I do not. I never got on an, in on any of those. I, I thought about getting the um, uh, military because I don't have one, and then I got a military... Uh, guy who's on here i believe if he still is uh mike loaned me his and um 
didn't care for it, so I didn't I didn't get it. Yeah, they're slippery and they fall off when kids are running. They're dangerous. No wyvern is FRN right? I don't not that's not coming to mind where which the wyvern is. Now I want to go look up how much that pack of wood dragonfly is. I'm broke as hell right now, but yeah, I would not mind having a pack of wood hat forty dragonfly. I could say it's further review. I, if I'm going to talk about the dragonfly, I gotta have gotta have at least two, right? <laughs> Your credit score dropped sixty points as soon as you put one foot in the crock. I think that I think that's a fact. I, I think that's an actual fact. I'm gonna I'm gonna verify it. If two people on the internet say it's real, then it's real, right? I think that's what it is. I think that's how it goes. Metal Complex, by the way, I'm very much missing your... Uh, it's on the way to you, by the way, but I'm very much missing your... Uh, last week when you guys were all... Or a couple weeks ago. I know it's been a while because we had stuff going on. Um, your uh, your Microtech SOCOM. I'm really, really missing it. That was his that you guys saw a couple weeks ago. Metal Complexes. And uh, I didn't think I'd miss it. And I, I miss it. It makes me sad. I don't know when I'm going to put the video up from it sometime but uh uh i didn't when i it, it, i was like oh it's tip up it's got grippy tape on it, it's stupid and then oh it's so smooth it's just so much fun to play with i'm might actually have to get one someday i have some uh financial hardships for the next couple months but once that's all wrapped up uh i'm gonna get some more nice stuff and if i can find one i think i would probably get one SVV needs to stop using gold liners and use 9CR again. They're still using the 9CR and the cheaper stuff. It's on the $68 ones are the D2. Uh, I cannot disagree with you about the gold liners. I like the gold liners on some of the colors. I think the gold liners on like the brown or the gold liners on the black look really awesome. I think it looks hideous on the green. Uh, they're making a lot of polarizing decisions, but they can't make them fast enough. So I, I guess it's okay, but... I do agree. I like the 9CR. I just I just wish everything was 9CR on there. It's, I, I like it just as much as the the as I like it just as much as the VG10. The D2 is a nice choice though. Some people really do want D2, so I get that. Um uh but yeah, the VG10 I don't understand that um why they did that, but it's not any worse than the 9CR, but yeah. I guess the ones that have the um the VG10 at least they have other things to make them more expensive than just the VG10. They have the, they have the uh, you know ceramic everything. They have the titanium pocket clip, all that stuff. But yeah, I, I don't know why they did the colored liners. I don't, I don't get it. Uh, 130 for the pack of wood. That's a lot. I guess it's not bad though. It's just a tiny little knife, but I guess not not that much more than a, um, like a. Uh, little native so that's not bad um yeah how you liking that new bug out I, I, I always mind up grab my bug out all the time vg10 should go the way of the dodo yeah yeah we might be getting there yeah yeah get rid of the tie clips for cvv i do agree with that they're stupid i just don't i mean they work fine but the other ones work better and they're cheaper i don't get it that's not my thing the FRN bums you out. Oh, just because you hate Crocs. That's not your only problem, Metal Complex. No, it's, I like the FRN, but it, it, I don't, well, I, I don't dislike the FRN. Put it that way. If they made it, if they make a G1020CV one, oh, they will not be able to take my money fast enough. For sure. Spyderco is so proud of their GD, VG10. They are, and it's the worst. I hate Spyderco's VG10. It's so soft. Really don't like it. Um, and especially for the price they charge for their VG10 knives. Wow. What's a Delica up to now? 84 bucks after the last, the last price increase? Yeah. The Kaiser VG10 is pretty nice. You're right, Ryan Ryder. The Kaiser VG10 is, is, the Kaiser VG10 is not bad at all. I think it's actually pretty good. Um, yeah, I heard somebody, it's, I heard someone, uh, tested the vg10 a while ago so they, they had tested a 52.7 or something like that hrc that's just ridiculous um but kaiser vg10 is pretty good what else did i have in vg10 a while ago that was pretty good oh i can't remember it was, well, it was a long time ago that was probably a year ago 
I have to go back and look at my own videos. I did have another VG10 knife that I thought actually held up pretty darn good. Um, hopefully, yeah, it, you're right. Hopefully, the lightweight pair of three knocks those delicates back down. 85 is Robert. Yeah, can you can you imagine the the person who walks in knowing now that that's BD1 and steel on the pair of three, which is not the same as regular BD1. It is a better steel. I can't fathom the guy who walks into a knife shop and buys the Delica instead of a pair of three. If you hold them both hand to hand instead of the pair of three lightweight, I don't, I don't get it. I don't know. I don't get it. Uh, this may have experience with BD1N. Um, I, I read a, uh, there's an article somewhere if you search for, uh, I searched for BD1 and steel. I have not used it personally, but, um, I read, uh, there's a really lengthy article somewhere in the internet that was, it was very complimentary of it. Um, yeah, it's mostly kitchen knife stuff, but it's, uh, it's really, really, really good steel. Uh, Matt Baker says lightweight pair of three will make the Delica discontinued by the end of the year. Next, they'll never get rid of the Delica, dude. They never will. Hopefully, they'll make a Delica five. Hopefully, it makes them make a Delica five, but they will never get rid of that. I that would I, I can't fathom that happening. Although Ford just did stop making cars, they only make trucks and SUVs now. So I guess other than the Mustang, so I guess maybe, but <laughs> never say never. But I can't fathom they would get rid of that. Blue collar survival, you're back. Catch, catch the last five minutes. Um, yeah, yeah, they go bankrupt before they got rid of the Delica. Yep. Um, yeah, I don't want to see the Delica retired. I just want to see it improved. That's it. I just want it to come with S30V, and I would shut my mouth if it came with S30V at that price. I'd shut my mouth. But uh, other than that, I really don't like it. Um. Anything with a two, <laughs> pair of two, you Jimbo two, Techno two, hell, anything with a two is a solid choice. Yeah, mostly, yeah. I like the Techno two, even though it finished last in that thing I just put, um, uh, that that little three way comparison I put. It finished last, but uh, I I might I might get one. I do really like it, but I would immediately I'd order it and then I'd order it and then at the same time I ordered it, I'd order custom backspacers to get rid of that acid green at the same time. Just like whenever I, whenever you get a pair of three, you order a deep carry clip if, at the same time you order the knife. Yeah, the green standoffs are poo. I, 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 if it was regular green, some people got really upset with me. They didn't comment, but I got nasty emails because I didn't like green. I don't. It's not that I don't like green. If they were a mild green, um, just the they're acid green. They're bright, ridiculous green, and that's just stupid. Is the ZT in those? Yes, no five six two. Yep, it's the O five six two tie. There is a review of it on here. Really, really like it. It is, like I said in my last uh, update that I just put up a couple days ago. Definitely my most carried knife of January this year. It's really, really nice. I like the green standoffs and pops of color, and that's cool if you do if you like the green. But it, that's the only option they offer. It's. That's not acid green is not a good choice. I don't think you can argue with that. If you're only going to offer one color, it shouldn't be acid green that you can hear from across the room. It's really, really bright. Yeah, the black stuff looks really cool on this. They did a great job with this. This is the best thing they make. I really, really do like it. It's, uh, I had the 0393, I had a real hinderer. And the, the smaller one, the three inch, and then I had this, and um, this is the best blend of them. And I just, I, I'm in love with this thing. It really, really is. The 0562 is a real tank, you know, but it, but it really isn't. It really isn't. Uh, it's, it, it snaps like one. It sounds like one. I mean, but as far as carrying it, holding it, metal complex. If you're still on here, you've got one. Uh, it really isn't. It doesn't feel. It doesn't feel like a big heavy tank knife. It really doesn't when you carry it. Yeah, it's just comfortable. It's big-ish, but not giant. 
um, pink or yellow stand ups are worse. I, I agree with that too. I think I think the only color you can the only two colors you can use that are guaranteed not to piss everyone off are uh, red and blue. I think those are pretty safe. If you're gonna put a color on, I think red and blue is pretty safe. But I think uh, greens, yellows, yeah, pinks and stuff like that, it's gonna piss somebody off. And I don't, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. Um, I would actually red. Actually, if I bought a Techno two red standoffs would actually look pretty awesome. Orange, I think. Orange, you're pushing it, but yeah, orange I think would be okay. I own. We're talking about the 0562 tie again. I'm going to read Metal Complex's comment. Uh, I own it, and it's twin in real Hinderer form. The ZT carries way better, and I'm a huge Hinderer fanboy. That is good to hear, because uh, I've still been kind of wanting to get a full-size XM18, but I, I don't think I am. I am tempted by a full track, though. Uh, but um, we'll see if I ever get money around where I could do that again. But, uh, yeah, I'm glad to hear that, that you like it that much, because you are you are Hinderer Man, Metal Complex. By the way, I've been talking to him back and forth here. Go check out his channel. And Blue Collar Survival and Banner247, guys, run here. Go check out their channels. They're commenting on here. You can just click on their little names, and it's going to go right to the channel, and then you can go check it out. And I'm making it super easy for you. And they're both really cool guys. All three are really cool guys, and you should do it. Uh, no Pops of Color SD has decreed it. I have a funny hat. No, I, it's, um, uh, I don't mind pops of color. I just think they should be on polarizing colors. I, I, I don't, I, there are colors that are polarizing in bright green, bright yellow. Uh, those are polarizing colors. The reds and blues, everybody's used to seeing that. Look, look at the colors that cars that sell the most in that color do that. Bright, Bright green, acid green cars don't sell. Even Lamborghini doesn't sell that many acid green Lambos. Um, hey, Brian, I live in Canada. Impossible to import. Fully nice. Uh, you like the Fox Suru? Like Vox Nays worse. The highest Vox blade I can get is the Aluminum Suru. Is it worth it? I like his stuff too. Um, yeah, I, I liked the Aluminum Suru. Um, uh, I didn't love it after a while. I didn't keep it as long as I thought I would. Um, I did not care for the carbon one. Um, I just, the texture on it, I just didn't like. I hear they're changing that. Uh, but the aluminum sewer is pretty nice. I think it's a bit overpriced. I think you can do, you can do better in that size. Um, would have never guessed you wanted a full track, Brian. I, I don't know. I'm getting kind of tactically lately. I don't know what it is. I've been getting bigger and bigger knives. The, the half, I just like the look of the half track from the profile anyway maybe when i had it in my hand i'd hate it <laughs> but looking at it laid out on a table like this i think they look cool as hell um looking to get a, any a, a zt any suggestions i'm gonna suggest the 0562 tie it's very very nice or um get the 0609 but get the tool with it which i have it the tool does work very well remember you gotta have a tool and um Someday you will own an 0452 CF. No, I I won't. I had one. I had a loaner. Mike Joseph sent it to me, and I didn't didn't care for it. Uh, that's too big. This dude just too long. I don't mind big and bulky. I just don't want really long blades. That's what I don't like. Um, I'm turning into Lynn Thompson. <laughs> no, I can. I'm not gonna say anymore because I'm gonna meet Lynn Thompson someday, and he'll he'll try and hurt me I, I don't want to don't want to do that to him so i'm not going to say it uh my carry today somebody asked was the gb2 uh the gail bradley 2 from spider co that's what i've been carrying um have you ever wanted to get a chris reeve knife i had a sabenza um and i i do want an Incosi someday but uh the sabenza i just had such a hard time i like it to be somewhat flippable and um uh i, I was always pushing on the, the pocket clip and it was pushed on the lock bar, and I just couldn't... I know that Chris Reeves says they're not meant to be flipped. And it's, yeah. I'm going to endorse Banner 247's comment, but I'm not going to read it out loud. Because, yeah. see, once this is posted, nobody sees these comments anymore, and I can, I can just say that, and then Lynn, Lynn Thompson will kill Banner 247 instead of me. But, uh... I'll chop you like a ham. <laughs> yeah, the uh, 
I, I love Chris Reeves stuff. The quality was definitely what what everyone says it is, um, but it wasn't. Uh, it it just that the Sabenza itself, I just didn't that pocket clip placement really bothered me, and somebody offered me more than I paid for it, so I I got rid of it. Yeah, you like your whole gritter. Oh, you got one too. And we're we're rare, I guess. Some people, most people, still haven't gotten them that ordered them. Isn't it great? I think it's a really good knife. Uh, like an 0451. The 0450 was a bit too small for me too. I couldn't. It just didn't fit my hand quite right. Brian, you need a quiet carry. I do. You're right. I just was watching today. Stasa did that thing with a quiet carry. I really need that LMAX one that he's got. Yeah, you are correct. You are correct. I do think I do need one of those. It looks like a very awesome knife. It looks like something that would be right up my alley. I do want a cold steel blow gun. And I do like cold steel knives. You get, you guys know that. I have the American Law, man. And the, the other, I've had several of them. Um, uh, it, and I, do, I want one of his blow guns. Because I have this crappy little blow gun in my drawer. And I have a little target that I just shoot at when I'm bored in my office. But uh, I really want to get a proper, real... Oh, you had a cold silk blow gun and it broke? Oh, that's too bad. And I don't I don't like guns, and so I don't own any guns. And there's a squirrel that lives in my garage that I want to get rid of. Uh, I love cold steel knives, but I hate their marketing. Yeah, I think that's how everybody feels about them. I honestly do. I think other than their hardcore fans, I think that's how most of us feel about them. They make some awesome knives. The, the American Law Man is amazing. Uh, the Recon One is one of the best tactical knives, tactical folders ever made. Yeah. Uh, they make some amazing stuff. But yeah. Yeah, the Prolite's a really good beater. What about American Gerbers? I have never really had any. I have not had any American Gerbers. I, I became anti Gerber when I was in the military because for a brief period, uh, they were issuing Gerbers instead of Leatherman, and uh, I had a bunch, and they always broke. And it really made me mad. So when I got out of the military, I just decided that I didn't like Gerber anymore. But, oh, and the Code 4, speaking of Cold Steel, I have it right here. Code, the Code 4 is one of my favorite freaking knives that I own. The Code 4 is just freaking awesome. It's a really great knife. I, I really, really like the Code 4. No Gerber beats the Bear Grylls knife. <laughs> I'm going to assume that's facetious. Tough Light's... I, I have never held, held Tough Light. It looks cool. I've meant to get one several times, but uh, thank you for your service. You're welcome. How the heck do you break a bloke? <laughs> I assume he fell on it. That's all I could think of. Um, finally got a Buck 110 Auto. Oh, those are awesome. My son desperately wants one of those, and he was all ready to buy one, and then I had to inform him that they are not legal to carry here in our fine state of the United States, or fine state of New York and the United States of America. Um, I was thinking, a lot of the knives you seem to enjoy forward choils. Are you like me that you prefer a forward choil? It doesn't matter to you. I mean, I, I, think I, I think I would say it's fair to say I used to, to really, really prefer a forward choil, and I guess I still usually do, but I'm not as demanding about it as I used to be, if that makes any sense. Um, I've had some great ones that do. I mean, like these two are two of my favorite knives I own. They don't have them. Uh, but I, I usually like to have one, but it's not the... It's not something that I really uh, demand in my life anymore like I used to. I used to kind of give knives some crap if they didn't have a forward trial. I don't do that anymore. How long did it take the Code 4 to break in? This one actually was pretty damn good right out of the box. I think I just, like, turned this back a quarter turn, and it's been awesome. It's actually been really great. This is an S35VN one. It's not an XHP, sadly. It has a cat hair stuck in it, of course. But, uh, that's whenever I do knife reviews, I to do cat hair checks. Because I leave a lot of my knives laid out on my desk, and then uh, I go to bed, and my cats come up and walk around. Best Tech Engine. Yep, I still have it. We're over here. Where is it? It's right here. Of course I still have it. I just did a video. Well, actually, I recorded that video like a week ago. Yeah, I close all the knives first so Kitty doesn't get cut. I can't let my Kitty get cut. He's my sweet, sweet boy. My big, sweet boy. 
Meine große Junge. Yes, I speak German to my cat. This is how crazy I am with my cats. I speak German to the boy cat because he's my cat and I love him. I don't speak German to the girl cat because I think she's too stupid to understand me. That, that, that's how my brain works. I, I, that makes no sense whatsoever. I think I'm going to turn that into a joke on stage. I think that's stage worthy. But yeah, I do. I speak German to the boy cat. <laughs> you speak Spanish to your toaster. <laughs> cats are not trash. Cats are great. I have a dog too, but I like my cats. I like my dog. I like them both. Yeah, the code for it. You just need a little, little. I think, yeah, I think I turn that screw a quarter turn at the absolute most. Um, and dogs are better. I don't. I couldn't. I couldn't choose. It depends. Now, my favorite animal I've ever had was my dog that passed away last year, which is why this channel exists. Is because my dog died, and I was sad, and I needed something to distract myself, and I started making knife videos. But uh, yeah, she was the best animal I've ever had. I had an Australian cattle dog named Blue. She died in October of last year, and it was very, very sad. Um, pretty unexpectedly, she started limping a little bit from hip problems, and then a um, month, month and a half, two months later, she was dead. It was very, very awful. Um, cats are like, pet me one minute and screw you. <laughs> later, okay, screw you. Well, one of our cats is like that. My, my cat... Jinx is his name. I did not name him. He came with a name. It's a girl name. I don't like it. But uh, no, my, he's he's my my sweet, sweet boy. He always comes up and cuddles. I actually had to shoo him out before I started this video because he was sitting in my lap. He He's happy to be pet anytime. You can just pick him up and cuddle him. He's still young. He's only a year and a half old. Yeah. It's a horrible story to not use on stage. People will not be laughing. Oh, if, if I talk about that I speak German to one cat and English to the other, I think it's funny. Because it's stupid. People like to laugh at you. You have five boxers? Holy Christ. You must have the loudest house. I can't imagine. I love boxers, but five of them? Wow. I don't think I can handle that. Or do you have five pairs of boxers? That was a bad joke. I'm sorry. All right. I think we're going to wrap this up a little over time. I try and keep these at about an hour. Thank you very much, Troy. I appreciate that. Um, I hope you guys had a good time. I know I did. This was very disorganized, but I think we had a good time. So uh, I appreciate it. Enjoy the Super Bowl if you're going to watch it tomorrow. I'm not going to. I'm just going to be checking the uh, ESPN update thing on my phone and swearing because the Patriots are probably going to win. I really hope they don't, but they probably will. I'm a Jets fan, so I stopped watching it about week three. That's how my football season goes. But I uh, hope you guys have had a good time. See you guys uh, next Sunday, probably. Probably be next Sunday. I don't think I – nope, I got nothing going on. Next Sunday we'll be back. See you later.